Hello, welcome back to Brando Sushi Recording. In this episode, I'm gonna try to kind of uh, deconstruct this uh, stepping function. This is again, this is in relation to the stair again. Of course, there are many ways to create stair in Spreadshock, and this is probably the most um, the most mathematical and probably not the easiest, but um, still kind of interesting to find out how to do this. Um, basically, the process is like uh, I start by drawing um, this uh, kind of like a quick diagram of uh, stepping. You, if you imagine, if you want to draw like a stepping um, curve, this is probably what you want to do. So I, I just draw it on the grid. So we have like 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. This is um, x-axis and the z-axis, and I'm basically kind of tracing the coordinate for the x and the z. We don't care about the y, the y is simply going to be extruded. So back to the front. So I write down all these numbers, 0, 0, 1, 0, and just, um, it looks something like this. I'll make the font bigger. So zero zero one zero one one two one and so on and so on. So we have some kind of pattern. The pattern for the z axis is pretty easy. So it's basically like um, kind of a, like a repeat. And for the repeat, you actually can use um, modulo. And so we start with some kind of range of number here. And that number, of course, is gonna be like from zero until the last number, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever. And then if we use this uh, function, uh, this is actually, what is it called? Scalar deficiency, um, integer deficiency, or is it the modulo? I think it's that the modulo. modulo. Oh, actually, the modulo will give a repeat. This is actually more like a integer deficient. So with integer division set to 2, we're going to get a pattern like this, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. And that's, that's actually correct. If we give it like 3, we're going to have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2. So that's, a, that's the thing with this uh, double division symbol. It will um, kind of divide and then kind of floor the result. Okay, and we already get the pattern for the z-axis, which is good. All we need to do is the pattern for the x-axis, and for this one, we simply just need to use uh, some kind of offset, and then we're gonna do the same thing here. So, if we offset it by one, we're gonna get z one, two, three, four, five, and then we look at the result of this guy: zero, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five. Zero, one, one, two. So that's kind of already correct. The pattern is already correct. So we just simply plug this into the vector in, and as a result, we're gonna get um, our points. View. So I'm gonna use viewer draw. Gonna use have a look. See, we have the points, and that's correctly kind of sorted as well. And the next thing we need to do is simply just plug this into UV connection. UV connection set to edges. And as a result, we should get our stair line. Something like that. So we can bake it. And from here, actually, the next thing. What did I do here? Number and extrude age. So I wonder why I actually did this uh, list repeater. Maybe I don't need this list repeater. If I just cut this, if I plug this into this guy, and plug the matrix um, 
that's interesting uh, probably I need to just mesh join the two so mesh join these two and then plug this into this guy and the matrices we should have our stair I think this is already correct yeah we don't actually need to use this uh, list repeater okay so there you go that's our stair and if I change this actually we gonna get um, interesting result just by simply by changing this number see we can have like longer kind of stair stepping so this is a bit nicer so we have more control so yeah basically what's going on here is the the stepping functions that I was talking about if you google it you might already find uh, these functions anyhow um, to generate the, the X and the Z um, but anyway this is how you might want to design your uh, your if you want to construct a stair for example or even in the future if you if you make something else but the idea here is to to find out the pattern and then try to turn the pattern into functions and by doing that you can have something that's procedural um, like this stair thing so this is stair function probably not the easiest but you can sometimes just ask your friend who knows math who, who is really good with math and then maybe you can just borrow their brain and then you try recreating it um, as a node okay so that's pretty much it for this live learning hopefully this is useful if you have any feedback suggestion let me know in the comment section below thanks again for tuning in i'll see you in the next video